Hi everybody, I'm Builder BB, Brian, and this is my retaliator with a Marlboro's HMIR kit in it, and it's shooting about 250 FPS, a little bit more than that sometimes, um, reliably between 220 and 240, so uh, sniffly cold, sorry, but anyway, I've got a Talon Mag adapter in it. And I've got this homemade piece of junk um, pump grip that I made a long time ago. Um, but it's working. And the Mabros kit, which is a big old printed sled that just wraps around. And it's a lipless plunger tube system. There's a 62 Hellman spring inside here. And that has a little uh, spring adapter. It's brass. I put an accuracy ratio on the front of the brass where it sticks out. Um, brass breech in there. All right, I will take it apart and show you what's inside. Okay, shell's open, and here you'll see the sled. It's plunger tube, which is just a inch and a half inch brass drain tube that was came pre-cut and polished and cleaned up. It was very good. And here's the catch, 3D printed, like I mentioned. I uh, just gave a dab of super glue to that spring. That's the original Retaliator spring. And um, really cool design. Really easy trigger pull. I should probably put some grease on that. All right. The plunger tube is held from moving forward, basically, by the magazine. In this case, the mag, mag adapter for the town. Um, and then it rests back up against the catch wall right over there. All right. Just give me a second to pop this apart. Lipless system. Uh, the brass comes right to the back. I might add a bit of padding there, although the plunger head itself, which is just laying in here, is a. Uh, I chose the. What do they call that? It's just gasket material, but it's a... I don't remember. Anyway. It's just 3D printed. Um, two nuts on a threaded rod and the catch. Let's see if we can get this out with one hand. Yep. Catch surface is right there. I had to add an O-ring. Uh, I had to add a washer, that black piece right there, to um, get it to catch reliably. And... That might not be necessary for everyone. Um, skirt seal. The skirt seal um, might be doing something. It might be because there's a bit extra room in the catch area. And the catch wiggles around a little bit. But, um, yeah, catch is nice. Just, like I said, I added, was it, like two washers in there. I gotta clean that plunger head. Dirty. So, a lot of, lot of material needs to be taken out, including that screw rest right there, the screw post right there. Um, this screw post over here, not doing much of anything. Um, it's still kind of threads, but it's not holding. So I guess that could go too. Um, I don't know if I need to take as much out here as I did, but it does need to be widened so that the 62 helmet spring can pass through. <clears throat> Got a bit of a cold. This is, um, these little nuts here, they're not included. That's my own piece that goes on that terrible, terrible old thing. I want to get a Gavin Fuzzy pump kit. For a retaliator or something. I don't know if that's even available anymore. Um, so lipless system, the brass that you epoxy in yourself. I just used some JB Weld and it's holding it great. Um, I had to do a little bit of work on the finger here on the brass because it didn't come at Talon width. It came at Katana, which was, was a little bit wider. So um, I had to file that down myself. But, uh, you know, specify and they know the width. They can fix it for you. It'll come this way. Came really nice, shiny. Um, I had to re 
sand it and clean it up. But uh, yeah, good, good, easy, easy kit. Other than all this shell chopping and snipping and stuff, I just used snips and um, a little bit of a little bit of a Dremel wheel job. What else is there of note? Um, right, there is a included spring spacer that just dropped right in there. Um, yeah, um, this plunger tube floats. It's a floating system. It doesn't stay locked in place. I've just got a mark on the brass um, there so I know where it touches the magazine. Um, it actually came marked with rear R there and F for front there. So I think that's just because they made this end much cleaner than the back end, but it, it was really clean. You know, the lipless uh, sled could pass through no problem. Um, I'm going to put it back together and then do some firing. All right, one other thing that I forgot to mention. In here, let me turn on the light. In here, I added two pieces of brass. One is a split piece of 9 sixteenths that uh, is compressed in, because this is 9 sixteenths. So it's 9 sixteenths and 9 sixteenths, but it's like a C ring of brass there. You can kind of see that split. And then inside the middle is a piece of half inch brass, and that is to keep the half length darts short darts from like going any farther back down the tube than they could. Um, the way I got it, it came with a roll crimp on this end of the brass so they wouldn't vacuum load into the into the plunger tube at all. Couldn't do that, but they would have gone all the way back there uh, and not engaged at all with the front edge if it vacuum loads. So I just um, made it so that they fit just inside and um, yeah, it's not really, it's in there really tight. It's probably caught a little bit of the JB weld here on the back edge. But um, that might change my, that might be, somebody was saying that a smaller diameter there is a big improvement. Now this is kind of crazy. All that spring fits in a retaliator. Bonkers. I probably can't do this one. No, I can't do this one-handed. That's all in there. That's nuts. And it compresses past it. I mean, it's pre-compressed like crazy. But it, it even compresses more. So that's it. All buttoned up back together. There's the, uh, the breech. I've got it. I've got the, uh, the front of the breech, the, the barrel of the breech, back farther than you could go. You could move it forward a bit more. But since I'm only using short darts, I don't care about getting full lengths in there. Um, yeah. Uh, the talon in there. My silly gaffer's tape and cardboard drop bumper. Okay, here's my crony setup. I'm going to be shooting a town mag of 10 ACCs first. Gonna be shooting right over the camera, so may have some noise. That focus, man, that focus is not bad. Two forty. Two forty-one. Two forty-one. Doesn't say duplicate, like the uh, Caldwell. Two thirty-two. Next, I'm going to shoot, uh, what was this, five workers, and then uh, five worker Gen 3s, and then five bamboos. Whoa, 
I did the camera. Okay, so 197 for the worker. 226. 205. Workers. Well, these are Gen 2s. And some of them might be re glued. They're going a little slower. They've all been fired before. 152. Ooh. And what do we got next? We got Gen 3. Bamboos. It's getting really high shots with this. Five. Forty. Thirty-six. Two fifty-three. There's my high so far. Seventeen. And that's it. So that was twenty-five shots, and it goes over to there to my box with a. It's my catch box, my dark catch. Sorry about that aspect ratio. Uh, I forgot I should have it sideways. Um, it's just a cell phone. So, do I like it? I love it. This thing's great. The only thing I gotta do is get rid of this and get like a normal worker pump kit or Gavin Fuzzy one would be nice. Yeah. I don't even know if they sell those. But, um, yeah, the TJ Mob Rose kit is great. It just shot over 250, which is great. Um, and uh, it's going to be great to have in my collection. The, um, it'll fit up on the wall there somewhere. Um, it's kind of hard to prime. I mean, it's not as hard as this thing, which got an 18.5 kg uh, turf spring. That's, that's a beast to prime. I'm not a, I don't work out. But um, it's, it's actually shooting. It's actually hitting harder than this. This... Um, that hits harder. Yeah, that, that thing's a monster. I love my Calibre. Um, DZP's great. Don't really use it much. Uh, I love that thing. Oh my goodness. Rockets. Uh, I love this thing. That's silly. I'll get to that one day. Um, that goes with the Proton Pack, which I broke, and I have to rebuild my Proton Pack. Oh, I gotta get that done before I more. And, um, yeah. I like that kit. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.